Okay, my name is Paul Hawkins. I'm the lead singer of a band called Paul Hawkins and Your Good Silences. Uh, I'm the author of a book called Bad Santas, which is available via Simon & Schuster. Uh, and on the 26th of uh, March, my band are playing a gig uh, with a band called Summer Camp for Our Chooses Everything, who are a disabled music promoter. Uh, and as part of uh, me preparing for that gig, I want to talk about my own disability and the fact that I use what's called a catheter or in layman's terms, I piss through a tube. And I don't think I've ever seen anyone talking about using the catheter before, so I thought, you know, maybe, maybe it's time I did. How did this, uh, how did this come about? Uh, why'd you have to use a catheter? That's a very good question, and to be honest, because I was born with various medical complications, I was very, very young when actually all of this happened. I had lots of operations as a baby, and my parents told me at some point what happened, but you sort of understand this as a child and don't quite know. What I do know is that basically my bladder doesn't empty itself properly. So from the age of four years old onwards, I've been using, using what's called a catheter. So how does it work? How do you, how do you go to the toilet? Okay, so this is a catheter. Uh, as you see, if I open it up, it's a sort of plastic tube with, uh, well, it's a plastic tube anyway. And basically I insert this into the urethra and then from that I then urinate as one would normally. Is it is it painful? No, I would have thought that if you stuck one in now, having never done it before, it might be painful. But because I've been doing this for 20 odd years, you know, I'm sort of quite used to it. And now it seems, it seems a fairly natural process to me. Are there any complications with using a, uh, a catheter? Uh, you're more likely to get urine infections. Uh, there's also, you can get a thing called a stricture, which is where things start to narrow, which can be fairly unfortunate. And then, and then steroids go in to kind of widen it. And that, that, that does hurt, just to be clear. That, that is painful. Don't, 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 don't get steroids shoved into your penis. Honestly, don't. Other, other than that, though, no. I mean, it's sort of, you know, it's, like I say, because I've been doing it for so long, it's a very normal thing to me, you know, and uh, I know to other people it probably seems strange, but, you know, what you start, something you start doing when you're four years old, you get to 31, which I am, and you just sort of, you're just used to it, you know? So when you're in a, a, a public toilet, do you, do you use a cubicle? Do you use the urinal? What, what happens there? Until the age of about 10, I used to, uh, I used to use a cubicle. But then at some time, about 10 or 11, I just sort of thought, well, what am I hiding here, really? You know, I mean, it's not. It's not anything that I feel I should be embarrassed or ashamed about. So I just, I now just use urinal like anyone else. Do you get any comments or reactions? Yeah, yeah, you do. Um, only once have I had a nasty reaction and then that was, which was a bit unpleasant. I was about 17, someone did say something quite nasty. Generally people are a bit surprised. Occasionally I get asked if it's drugs. Once I got asked if it was a spliff, which sort of, I still don't understand even to today. I don't... I'd be honest, I've never smoked cannabis, but I'm fairly sure, but I know what it looks like. It does not look anything like, like this, you know. Um, uh, the strangest one was, I don't know why I'm about to say it. Yeah, the strangest one was I was in the uh, toilets of a, uh, a place called the Trial Bar Club in London. And there's a bloke next to me in the, uri uh, in the urinal next to me. He wasn't in the urinal, obviously, that'd be weird. He was still at the urinal. And he turned around to me and said, oh, oh, my, my mate's got one of those. Um, he had an operation recently and now he's got one of those in. Uh, the other day he lost his keys to his house and so he so kicked the door down and broke his cock. <laughs> and then the guy said, and then the guy sort of said, looked at me and said, can you just excuse me a second? I'm fairly sure I'm going to get some action later. I just need to quickly wash myself in the sink. And I proceeded to kind of, I assume, I kind of left at the point where he kind of unzipped his flies and kind of turned, got the tap running, you know. But it was, it was a strange moment. <laughs> and at the end I sort of thought, well, I may be doing something slightly odd in the public toilet, but... Comparatively, not that odd, really. What advice would you give to anyone who uh, has to start using a catheter? Uh, basically, that you do get used to it. and Don't worry, the first time someone says to you, you know, you need to shove this in, I imagine that's quite a terrifying thought. But when you've done it a few hundred times, you start to realise you, you, know, you don't even think about it anymore. And I think that's the thing, is I just kind of relax, you know.